In this video, we'll learn how we can install Notepad++ Portable version. Now, if you are already familiar with portable versions, then you can skip to the installation part a little later in this video. But before we begin, we'll just spend a little bit of time uh, in Notepad++ Portable and why it might be useful for certain people. So the very first question is, why do you want Notepad++ Portable installation? Now, there are cases where you are uh, working in an environment where you have a limited access or there are no admin privileges on your computer that you're using uh, so that means that you cannot install any application uh, in this case notepad plus plus portable comes pretty handy also if you would like to uh, take all your settings in notepad plus plus with you in a in a flash drive or a jump drive uh, you can use notepad plus plus portable also now, for whom this can be handy? Well, for the most part, uh, if you are using a personal computer, just a regular installation is good enough. But if you are a system administrator and you would like to have the same environment of Notepad++ uh, in different computers, uh, you can use this version. Uh, even if you are a, a person in your family or in your uh, friend circle who is like a tech support guy and uh, often people ask you to do different things uh, on the computer uh, then you can use this version and take it in your in the flash drive and then you know you have all your settings uh, wherever or whichever computer you may be using or or fixing now it can also be useful if somebody does not like all the registry uh, and if you don't want any traces in registry uh, like the person who likes to keep everything clean sort of guy or a girl. Uh, for them, Notepad++ Portable is useful because everything regarding the software is all included in a single folder. And if you delete that folder, it doesn't keep any traces. And so what are the advantages of Notepad++ Portable? Well, it is very easy to manage. It's very easy to install. As I said, it just have a folder. Every settings that you do is all contained in that folder. And if you don't want it, you just delete it and you're, then you're done with that, that software. Uh, it also comes with some disadvantages though, uh, especially if you, in, if you put that in your computer and if you want to set some default uh, file format uh, to be opened in Notepad++, it is just a little bit more challenging to assign our default apps uh, for different file formats. Now in this video, we'll uh, look at two different ways to install Notepad++ Portable. The first one will be directly from Notepad++ website. And then we will also use a Portable Apps software uh, to install Notepad++. So let's get started. The first way to install Notepad++ Portable is directly from their website. So if you go to Google, just search for Notepad++, you will have a notepad-plus-plus.org, which is the official website. I go to downloads and just pick the, the very first or, or either one, the, the latest. When you click on that, it gives you a different options. Now, here you can see that there is an installer, which is a regular installer, but there is a portable zip file. So we will install using this one. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, it's just an add. Okay. So you can see that it is actually uh, downloaded the zip file. So I'm going to open the file and I'm going to extract the zip file on my desktop. Uh, you can give any name. So I'm going to extract it and uh, it basically puts everything in Notepad++ installation into a single folder. So here is my desktop and this is the folder that I just uh, created. And this one Notepad++ EXE is a portable version. So if I double click on it, I have a Notepad++ portable installation. Uh, so everything that Notepad++ requires is contained in this folder. And if I delete this folder, uh, the Notepad++ will be gone. And so this is a very easy to manage sort of uh, a version for Notepad++. All your settings will be all located here. So you can actually copy this 
uh, into uh, an SD card or, or, or a flash drive and then you can take it with you and you put it into another computer and uh, open Notepad++ all your settings are right there and so this is a pretty handy uh, uh, version all right let's take a look at the second way to install Notepad++ Portable before we continue let me just quickly show you the channel uh, page I post new videos about Notepad++ uh, very frequently and so you can visit my channel uh, I have a number of playlists on that uh, so you can take a look at that also and if you like this content please subscribe uh, and support my channels all right let's continue the second way to install a portable version of Notepad++ is using an application which is specifically for portable apps uh, so you can google portable apps one word or, or even portable apps should bring the same thing and uh, this is a, a pretty handy software which can allow you to have all your portable apps uh, for, a, for a USB key or a flash drive so I'm going to click actually downloads and first we need to install a software and then we will install notepad++ in that software alright so right here it says notepad download from it just clicked on it and it should come up pretty quickly alright so it's done I'm going to install and just OK next and here actually you can uh, create a new installer uh, you can directly install that into a USB drive but I'm going to just for the for this demo I'm going to put it right on the desktop so I'm going to select a custom installation or location and I'm going to say it's put it on a desktop okay. and install okay now if you notice that it created about two or three uh, uh, folders one is for documents the other is a portable apps folder and then there is a way to start this portable apps okay so I'm going to actually uncheck this click OK and I'm going to double click on this now you can see that it created almost like a start menu just like a window start menu but this start menu is completely portable everything that comes from these three folders okay and it also checks for all the different portable apps available out there and so I'll pause the video just for a second until it gives me all the list of uh, apps all right it did, it did take about 30 seconds but once uh, it uh, it's ready it, you can see that it actually brings up all different application or a software that you can install portably okay and so actually this this particular software is very useful portable apps uh, but all we want to do is we want to use notepad plus plus so it, they have a pretty nice uh, list of software categorized by by different uh, you know category and so I'm going to go down to where most likely it'll be program programming or it is right here development and right here you can see there is actually a lot different uh, software available but the one that we are interested is this one so I'm going to check this click next and it's going to download notepad++ in the background and it's going to install that uh, in this folder actually and we'll open that folder so it's done I'm going to click finish and if I open this folder you can see that there is a notepad++ portable version uh, and the way in which it actually you know put stuff in different folders is a little different from what we saw here uh, but both of them are works pretty well so it depends upon how you want to go about it uh, this portable app software actually maintains all the portability uh, while this is just for a one single application which is a notepad plus plus all right so now that I have installed portable apps and I have installed notepad plus plus if if I want to open that I just click on that and there's a there, there you go this is a portable version of notepad plus uh, plus uh, using portable apps so we just learned two ways to install notepad plus plus portable one is from their website and the other one is using this portable apps application now as I said I can easily take all this folder or, or these three folders into a flash drive 
or a USB drive and take it with me to any other uh, software, uh, any other uh, computer and you will have all your uh, settings and the software available. Actually, the portable apps does allow to install a lot many other applications so you can actually make your own suit of application that you would like to keep with you. Alright, so I hope you uh, like this video. Uh, if you did, uh, just click subscribe or like this video. Thank you very much.